two, 16 overs gone, four to go. White off, not surprisingly, having been uh, spanked to all parts in his last over. And we're going to have uh, a bit of Razak from the pavilion end. Now, all his experience. Has he got a solution to the hussy problem? He's got experience. He does possess very good slower delivery. Just look at Dave Hussey there. Five fours, five sixes. And it's all basically happened in the last 15 deliveries. 73 he's on. Could he get our first 20, 20, 100 of the season on Sky Sports? No. <laughs> he's going to be seething with you. Well, there's the experience of Abdul Razak talked about his slower delivery and he's got a terrific one as he's played a beautiful knock there powerful knock however deceived back of the hand slower ball tries to get it over that cow corner area again and Razak gets his man with a smile on his face I think he'll applaud that knock and as he's played a terrific knock for the Nottinghamshire Outlaws he goes for 73 Nottinghamshire 148 for three I suppose the question is should Hoggard have got Razak on the last over instead of bowling white which went Went miles. Should he have tried Razak then? Razak's the man with all the experience. He's got two more overs to bowl after this one. Would he have been cuter getting him on early to try and stem the hussy flow? Well, yes, that's a question. I mean, it's a good question. I mean, hindsight would say that he should have. He's going to try and, you know, you definitely want Abdul Razak bowling out, bowling all his overs. He's saving him for the end. But unfortunately, towards the end, could be too late. Scott Elston is the new batsman. Well done to Knotts for sticking with their batting order. They must have been tempted to put the likes of Reed and Mullaney up the order. And he's got a pretty reasonable strike rate, Elston. One of their younger cricketers here at Treadbridge. But uh, someone like uh, Reed, brilliant running by Voges in particular, always going to the danger end. But somebody like Reed has got the experience and the know how to really explode into life from ball one. Well, he, he has, but Abdul Razak would be over the moon that Reed hasn't come in. Um, and he'll be happy that he's bowled at Elston because inexperience versus experience. What's annoying is that he's bowled a decent delivery there and through some terrific running, he's gone for two off of one decent good ball. That's a good little shot from Elston. Another two on here. Yeah, With the third umpire, we'll just have a little butchers at whether or not. Donald got his uh, foot in contact with the rope or not. Rest. Don't think he's asked for it. We'll have a look, see. Fine and dandy, no problem at all. Well done by Andrew McDonald. What does he do? I think he's got to, the way that he's hitting the ball, he's got to be looking to change the pace, slower ball. Extra cover's open now, can go over the top. And he can't, he gets bowled. So Razak gets two in the over. Wicket, two, two, wicket. Nice symmetry there. And Knotts just starting to lose wickets now as they go for broke. Well, they've gone with the young man, Elston, and Razak's used his pace. Knock back the middle stump, trying to give him some room. He'd already just brought up mid-off, so he's looking to go up and over mid-off. Razak gets his second wicket. Scott Elston goes for four, and Nottingham Outlaws are 152 for four. Well, here comes the, the club captain, the man who does the job in the county championship, smarting at their defeat to Lancashire the other day, the four-day game. Chris Reed doesn't actually do captaincy in 2020. He hands that over to David Hussey. Three overs and two balls to go. What's that? 20 balls to go. What are they going to end up with here? Should be certainly up one, around the 180 mark. I think they could even get up to 200, Charles. That's what they'll be aiming at. Razak's got another two overs to go after this one. He'll be a problem to get after. Oh, God, win, win, win. Keep the car. Easy. In fact, the way Hoggard's done his sums, of course, Razak's only going to bowl one of those. So that, that's just a, 
a big mistake, isn't it? Well, it is. I mean, you want your experienced one-day bowler to make sure he bowls his full quarter of overs, and um, he's not going to get them in now. Lots to think of. Bowling captain. Two again, expertly just rolled out there. Just hit it, trying to hit it too hard. Bogies just rolled it out into deep mid wicket, and the pace of it was absolutely right to be able to get back for two. So 17 overs gone, 155 for four. A bit of rain in the air, but nothing too serious at the moment. Bogies has just played the anchor roll, 31 from 26. We've had the Hussey Pyrotechnics, 73 off 37. Now, how can they end off with these last three overs? Powerfully, and, um, I think it's those times when the bowlers are walking around the outfield with their back to the captain. Thinking, "Don't call me, mate," because in fairness.